Hi everyone, welcome to Selangor Human Resource Development Center or SHRBC in short. What you guys are about to see next are a series of webinar sessions on various topics that we at SHRBC previously organized. We hope you will be able to enjoy and learn a couple of things from this webinar session today. Hello everyone, thank you and welcome. Thank you for joining our TV session for today. Okay, so without further ado, we will begin today's um, session with Mr. Ken Chan on food waste technology, and he will be covering on three um, topics, which is food waste history, how to select shoe, and also shoe designing. Okay, so I will stop sharing my screen for now, and Mr. Ken, you can start sharing yours. Good afternoon, everyone. We hope uh, all of you stay safe and healthy during uh, this pandemic. Okay, I'm Ken, your speaker today, uh, sharing the footwear uh, industry. So I have been uh, in the footwear industry uh, for more than 30 years. Also involved in uh, Malaysia footwear manufacturing and station activity for the past uh, 10 years. Okay, let's share my little knowledge uh, for today's topic uh, regarding uh, footwear technology. Uh, how to select shoe uh, or choose shoe, uh, then and shoe designing. Okay, so let me share my screen. This is a uh, older shoe uh, from, found in about five thousand six hundred before centuries. Uh, uh, found in Armenia, cave is the oldest known leather shoe made from single piece of cow hide. Now the shoe uh, is displayed at the History Museum of Armenia Yerevan. Okay. So this is, uh, this shoe appear on 1200 before century is an Egyptian shoe. Okay, this boot shape flat uh, open shoe are made from woven reed. The strap are also made of long, thin reed covered in a strip of a wider reed. The construction of this uh, particular overshoes uh, continue in the same style into 19th century, okay. On this, uh, wait, sorry. Okay. At the 27th before century, the Roman shoe uh, been introduced. The sandal is thought to be the first uh, footwear, especially crafted to fit the foot. This Romans uh, were found in uh, archaeology digs uh, in London. Roman sandals uh, were usually, uh, were usually uh, unisex and made with cork sole and leather strap or lace. So some um, Okay, some military centers uh, called Caligal uh, had uh, not nail uh, on the sole for reinforcement. Their imprints uh, can leave a pattern or messages in the ground. Okay, next. This is from China, which is appeared on 1,100 years ago called a foot binding. Okay, the Chinese practice of foot binding uh, is just before or during the Song Dynasty. Involve tightly wrap the feet of young girls to prevent them from growing. But this banned in 1911 as a brutal and disabling practice. 
uh, it was previously an accepted part of a young girl's life and continued in some rural areas until the 1930s. Okay. Clock in 1200. Clock is made uh, from part or completely from wood. It's functional as a protective footwear without addition, additional support on it. So this one called a Dutch clone. Okay, high heel. Start in 1700. The earliest high heel was uh, worn by the Persian cavalry in order to ensure their feet stay in the steer up. The modern high heel were brought to Europe in the early century. Men's warned them to imply their upper class status, uh, such as King Louis XVII, to impart their status. Then come in with the Oxford Show in 1800 in uh, Scotland and Ireland. At 1839, the first cabinet shoe was invented. The process called vulcanizing heated up rubber and adding sulfur makes it stronger and flexibility. Okay. Then in 1935, boat shoes. In 1962, flip-flop coming in. Then 1962 is Birkenstock. Okay, so more of uh, uh, the development of the fashion shoes. The reason uh, is come from this um, uh, reason style. Okay, uh, that's it for the timeline of the uh, the world history. Okay, I'm talking about the Malaysia footwear history. Uh, Malaysia footwear history have uh, more than 100 years old industry. When 100 years ago, uh, migrants from China uh, landed in Penang at that time. So they bring in shoe production skill, uh, start with a small factory then retail and growth until now with own branding. So from Penang, later then uh, to Ipoh and KL, Klang, Melaka and Johor Bahru. So at the early, early stage, uh, well, almost uh, every part um, is done in a factory, which is a uh, very time consuming and highly dependent on workers' skill to produce a shoe. So after start getting order from overseas, which the quantity is uh, far beyond the current production speed, then they start to split the production by outsource some parts. Uh, such as heel, uh, midsole, 
and outsold to other factory that uh, mainly doing that part with the help of machine which can uh, speed up the quantity and shoe factory just concentrate the assembly of parts become a shoe and this method still apply until now in 1970 malaysia reached a peak of export which uh, mostly factory is uh, concentrate on this area at that time so we export all over the world including japan europe uh, Australia and the whole ASEAN country at that time. So at the moment, we have, until now, we have four footwear association, which is um, Malaysia Footwear Manufacturer Association, Kuala Lumpur and KL Shoe Industry Association, Perak Footwear Industry Association and Penang Footwear Association. Uh, then Klang and Johor Association been ceased operation. So the current status uh, of the state operation start with Penang. Uh, Penang have one major big factory that is uh, the brand name is Asadi, which is uh, the factory located at Patuwuf. Their daily production is about 25k and monthly go to 650k per month. Okay. Then Ipo, uh, Ipo have about 500 uh, factories. They are mainly producing uh, middle and low market ladies shoe and sandal, which is um, OEM for local and export market. So the location at Ipo, the factory mostly uh, at uh, Pangkalan, uh, Bukit Merah, and Wenggelembu. So when KL is focused on men's shoe, safety shoe, and ladies high fashion shoe and tailor-made market. And Johor Bahru is OE, uh, mainly OEM on market to Singapore and tailor-made of men and ladies shoe. Uh, at this moment, until I think about 10 years back, start with 10 years back, sneaker and canvas shoe production uh, is no longer in Malaysia. Due to the small market uh, having difficulty to support their big scale production uh, plan. And finally, the Malaysian Malaysia brand is Bonia, uh, Amori, Larry, Asadi, such as uh, Sambonia, NYC, XCS, and Minsi. This is all is Malaysia brand of shoe or footwear. Okay. For the how to select a shoe or choose a shoe. So shoe serve um, many functions. They protect our feet. They cushion our body weight. They can make our feet feel comfortable and fashionable. So finding a proper shoe and make sure, making sure that feet are important for keeping your feet and your body happy. So a poor fitting shoe can be painful and cause foot problem like bunion, corns, hammer tools, and more. Okay. So, okay. The first thing, you must have your feet measured. So your foot size and shapes 
can change over time. So don't rely on the fact that you have always worn a certain size. Then most people have one foot that is larger than others. So make sure your you have both feet measure. You need to fit your shoe to the larger foot. Okay. So you need to get measure at the end of the day. So when your where your feet uh, are the largest, you want to make sure you are comfortable throughout the days and not just you head out of the house in the morning. Okay. Okay. Don't rely on the shoe alone. Sorry, shoe size alone. Just like cloth, the size mark inside the shoe may be different depending on the brand. So your shoe size is just a starting point in selecting the correct shoe. Another one is look at the shape of the shoe. So make sure the shoe shape resembles the shape of your foot and fit your foot comfortably. Comfortability. Okay. Then don't plan on shoes stretching over time. Eh? So they should fit well when you buy them. You have to also check the width of your shoe. So the ball of your foot, which is, is the widest part, just before your toe begin, should fit comfortably in the widest part of the shoe. You need also check the depth of the shoe. So the shoe should be um, depth enough to fit your toe. Especially you have a hammer toe or other conditions. If the shoe toe box is too small, so your toes will rub against uh, the top of the shoe and you will get sores. So always uh, stand and walk around in the shoe. So to see if they are comfortable or not, fit well. Okay, so the, and also the heel should not slip or slide when walking. Okay, this is some tips that uh, when you select your shoe. Okay. Now come to the, uh, what type of shoe? to choose that can wear that looks will be uh, will more slim and taller. So this is uh, more uh, towards to our ladies, okay? So you should choose a hidden or stiletto heel. The legs will look longer. Second one is hip toe or a uh, sharp toes. So the leg and the shoe will become, uh, uh, it looks like a straight line. So similarly like the color, choose with a light color that similar with the skin color, such as light gold, beige or tan color.
Okay. So that's all about some tips on how to uh, select shoe and choose the shoe that uh, looks a bit slim and taller. So, so far, uh, any question? Okay, I just continue on. So now the, the last topic, how uh, shoe designing, how to design shoe. Okay. So first you need to learn how to draw a shoe. Um, if you want to be a professional shoe designer, of course, you need to learn how to draw shoe. This uh, will be your language. You need to know it well. Your shoe drawings are how you communicate uh, your ideas. You have to be uh, good and your drawings need to show your passion and creativity to others. In a design meeting, the drawings that capture the imagination uh, but also show real possibility uh, will be the design that makes it all the way to production. Okay. You need to master the concept sketching and some rendering skill also. So make sure to spend time drawing out so bottom and mid so. So a designer that can draw out so will always be in demand. Uh, work hard to draw shoes that are fresh, creative, uh, and break the rules of shoemaking. However, you also must show that you know and understand the rule of shoemaking. Okay, second one, go to school. Okay. There are school programs uh, for design and fashion school. So design and shoemaking school will help you to become a shoe designer. And third, you need to find a shoemaking mentor. Actually, um, I have been very lucky uh, in my shoemaking career all the way I have met and worked with many great people. If you are not afraid to ask questions and patient enough to listen, you will learn a ton from mentors and co-workers. So uh, you need also learn the computer software. We can always start with uh, Adobe Illustrator. There are many drawings uh, programs you can use. So Adobe Illustrator is easy to learn and is a great tool for refining and detailing your design. While Illustrator is not a 3D CAD program, it's still critical for you to master. Use a 3D modeling software like uh, Shoemaster is another option for designer to draw shoes. Okay, so then you need to build a great shoe design portfolio to step to step in the footwear industry. There are many ways to get noticed and get started. Uh, but a great shoe design portfolio is your launching point. In these days and age, uh, 
an online portfolio is a must. With an online portfolio, you can show hundreds of drawings. Let people see what you can do. Okay. Then you also need to study. You, you need to study the classic. Not the masterworks of Italian painters, but classic shoes. This is uh, uh, learn the modern history of shoes. There are many good books out there. So get to know the classic stilettos you know, from the big brands. So don't be afraid to stand on the shoulder of the shoe giants. Okay, just study the fashion shoes, sports shoes, anything. To fill, to fill your mind with a great designer. So to be a, a great shoe designer, you need to look well beyond shoes. So there is a multi, uh, multitude of uh, great design, great industrial design out there. So just fill your mind with uh, image like Ferrari, Prada, you know, Philip Stark, Apple, you know, Porsche, you know, etc. There are many uh, uh, websites uh, which you can um, see billions of modern designs for products aside from the shoe so just fill up your brain and let your eyes bring up the design too so you also can um, cut all the old shoes see what is what is inside you can learn inside how the shoe is really putting in together. No, learn how the way they are doing. So brands like Nike, Adidas have a mastermind of shoemaking at work. So you can learn a lot by looking inside. So a great drawing uh, of a shoe that cannot be manufactured will never make it of the pitch. So a stunning new shoe design that challenge your development team can be a winner. Okay. You can be a shoe designer. It takes a passion for product design and imagination to something that can be. Okay. This is all uh, I, uh, I sh my, my sharing for today. So we, uh, we are happy to help you and get starting in shoemaking and designing. Okay, thank you. Melissa? Thank you very much, Mr. Ken. Um, so do you have anything that you want to show to the um to those who are already here in the floor? Any like shoe design or anything? Uh, okay, I, I, I will show you um, two design for the com uh, previous competition that is, uh, uh, but I don't have the physical shoe at the moment, but I have the design. I just show you the design. Okay, sure, no worries. I think the People here will appreciate that. Can you see this one? Uh, yes. So the, the title we call a debut. The physical show is done ex exactly. So, so the this, actual product uh, in physical form is done exactly like that? Yes. It's exactly like that. Uh, who made this, Mr. Ken? The design and all? Uh, design is held by the factory. 
when produce this shoe, you need to help with the factory because they they have uh, um, uh, the tools and equipments that that can help. Of course, this is not a handmade, so you need some uh, technical from the shoe factory. So some parts will, you need to help. So others part, so all the designer will do themselves. Like the upper part will be easier for them to do it. So of course this one, the bottom part, we need some machine or uh, 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 some technical uh, knowledge to have this uh, leveling. So that this, the bottom part, we need the shoe factory to help. Okay, this is one of the participants on the shoe designing. Two design. So this is the first one, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Second one would be. Okay. This is called a FIFA. The football. The whole net doing this one. Exactly, 100%, one-to-one. -one. Um, how long does it take from the designing and to produce the actual shoes? This one, about, about one month. One about month. one month, yeah. From, from the designing process and the manufacturing? Yes, yes about one month. Mm -hmm. same, same as the devil shoe? They will be a bit longer. Uh. Okay, that's all I, uh, uh, I share for today. Mm -hmm. so do we have any questions from the floor, um, from our attendees today? Do there have any questions you'd like to ask Mr. Ken? So maybe you guys can maybe unmute your mic and ask directly or type into the chat box if you guys have any questions. Uh, Mr. Ken, do you, uh, do you prefer any? Okay, so okay, we do have a question from Afi Amiro. Uh, he is asking where do you get your source of inspiration for designing? Your sumber inspiracy for your designing, mostly. Uh, you, you can source a lot of from actually the uh, all the while the, the world leading fashion is led by the European, like. Uh, especially the Italian. So they are, they, are, they are so matured on design and the whole, the whole world uh, fashion leading is from them. So actually, uh, mostly we are getting the inspired from the uh, uh, Italian design. I see. So uh, Maybe like you can uh, tell us about your first shoe design. Did it work out well when you first produce your shoe? Is it for men or for women? Your first shoe design when you first started venturing into this industry? Mm -hmm. My first uh, in the industry at that time is because it's quite, at that time, about uh, 30 years ago, and then our actually at that times uh, our internet is not so like now, so that times actually we are uh, lack of this uh, 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 information on the current status. Just not like now you can you can you know the things just happening, maybe in few seconds then the whole world you, you know already, right? But that times. Uh, actually, that time the fashion we are very uh, far back behind from from the uh, uh, current uh, fashion. Mm -hmm. So that time we are still uh, concentrate on local market, which is that times I'm doing the uh, uh, Malay's uh, uh, leather sandals. That time, so we. We just uh, ladies. It's the mm. ladies. Yes, that time we are we are studying the uh, just uh, also easy for us to get the information that uh, mm. uh, local Malay market their uh, favorite is on which uh, style. You know, just a very simple uh, 
a few strap on the ladies, uh, ladies sandals. I see. Okay, so we do have a second question. Uh, he, um, Amiro is asking, like, how to select the uh, the suitable shoes for those who have problems with their with their legs, lah, like, their legs or their feet, like, selalu look like you know, lengo, um, sore feet, and you cannot stand to, um stand too long. Those with um issues with their nerves or anything. Okay. How to select if, the right? If the, right. the prob yeah okay if the problem is not uh so serious, uh you can um look for uh go to a few of the orthopedic uh shoes uh shop, then try some the uh, arch. If the your problem is a bit much uh uh, uh serious. So my advice is you should go for a orthopedic doctor and okay. check. Yes. Then uh, you, this will be more uh, um, uh, so you, you can get the more information near to your feet. Then you can produce a shoe based on this their information. So like let's say if this person he he wants to buy or select the shoe from from you know the the from in store. So do you have any like shops or <laughs> that is uh, that is available out in the market for them to look for the shoes for those people who can slalu lenguh when they walk. You know you cannot stand too long. These kind of issues. Um. Maybe maybe. Minor, minor one, minor issues. The minor issue, actually a lot of, uh, 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 depends on your convenience. Just don't go far. Maybe if I, if I uh, recommend one, 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 shop, one, one shop for you, but it's quite far for you, also not convenient for you also, you know, just like too far away also. I think most of the orthopedic, uh, the, the, uh, shoe brand company, I think that that, that should can uh, solve the problem. I see. Thank you very much, Mr. Ken, and thank you, um, Emil, for your questions. Okay, mm -hmm. so question we have from Akmal Kim. So Akim is asking, um, is the factory uh, will produce the custom outsole, even if just for two or three pairs, like limited pairs? Will the factory be able to produce the custom outsole? Uh, yes, yes. Even even one pair or one piece, there is uh not much lah. One or two factory that can do it for you. Not much, not much. Even one piece, they no. still uh, uh willing to do it for you. So uh, I came. So I, I hope that Mr. Ken answered your question. But if you do you have any more questions on this, I think maybe more specific because I can see that you have been. Uh, I think is actually he was here during the first session with you as well. He seems very interested to be, you know, maybe produce his own designs and things like that. Maybe you have, uh, Mr. Ken. Maybe you can say a word of advice or for him or if you want to start on this, maybe. Uh, because okay. he was here since the first session with you actually and even for today as well oh, I, 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 okay from the question eh? mm -hmm. he, yeah. he, he text there is um, macam they will heal out so daddy mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh I understand it, it's still the same question just like uh, just now yeah correct mm -hmm. yeah right so Akma Akma Hakim uh, Am I know you? Is the one uh, with the design center if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Akim, <laughs> can you hear uh I hope you can hear Mr. Ken's question. Uh, you can, if you can unmute your mic, maybe you can speak or you can type it. Hello. Oh. Hello. Ah. 
Hi, Mr. Ken. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, uh, uh, I'm not any of... Uh, I, tak, I tak belajar dekat mana-mana pun buat kasus. Oh, I see. But uh, saya lebih belajar di YouTube sebenarnya. <laughs> and, oh, I see. Okay. Okay, and I... I ada juga buat kasut iaitu kasut lover. Cuma okay. I punya kasut tu dia just agak kurang selesa sikit. Means dia punya uh, apa dia tu keras and hmm. dia punya bahagian depan dia tu pun macam uh, kata apa, a bit tight so dia macam mudah macam luka dekat dalam kaki. So uh, I just want to learn more so I can make a very comfortable shoes. Okay. Uh, are you able to uh, have a time that three and a half month time? Yeah, I do. Okay, so please do uh, register with uh, uh, our Jorina. Ah, our, yeah. Uh, okay, you register already, right? Yeah, dah registered. <laughs> yeah, then okay lah. So hmm. I think uh, during the class, I think we will... Uh, uh, Give you a lot of solution there. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mikey. Once again, for your question, and thank you, Ken, for answering his questions. Okay. So, do we have any other um questions from the floor aside from Mikey and Amiro? Okay, uh, if we don't, uh, we'll, we will launch a poll. Um, Katsu, can you please launch the poll? It's just a feedback question. Uh, feedback, feedback poll, okay. Um, Mr. Ken, do you have any other things that you want to um, to show or to, to share? Um, I think that's it lah. You know, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Mr. Ken. Uh, so, Katsu, can you launch the poll? Okay, so for the for those um who have who are seeing the poll questions, do answer them. Okay, just a feedback review for you guys. Okay, so uh once again, uh I actually forgot to display Mr. Ken's profile earlier. Okay, so if you guys are seeing the my screen now, so you can see that um Mr. Ken actually has a very vast experience um in the shoe industry. All right, so you can you can even say that he is the shoe master lah, basically. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Ken, if yep. anyone if anyone here wants to get in touch with you, uh, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, if they have any questions, is there any way that they can, your Facebook or anything? anything? Uh, okay, I think I leave my... Maybe you can type them into the chat box. So yes, the, yes yep. I will, I'll put in the chat. Okay. So, okay, everyone, um, Mr. Ken will put his contact or on how he can, you guys can reach out to him. Okay. Okay, uh, sorry, to Amiro, he is asking me a direct, send me a mess, direct message. So, to Amiro, uh, to answer your question, the e-certificate e or the webinar e that you will receive it via email. Okay, so it should be the same email that you uh, register. Okay, so I'm sure you registered at the uh this to join this TT session for where to today uh today. So you have to check the same email. So if not today, it may maybe tomorrow, but maybe likely to um tomorrow lah, we will send it to you. If not today lah. Okay, Amiro. Okay, this is our currently our long term fully funded training programs. We have um eight programs currently, including uh, you can see that the data analytics, IT, AI, aviation. So if you guys are interested to know more or to learn more about this program, do get in touch with the person, our person in charge, which is Mr. Hairo or Ms. Anna. Okay. okay. So I believe this is, that is all for today. And we have uh, finished, we are wrapping this up uh, in the game. Okay. So how was it everyone? Did you enjoy and learn something new today? We hope you find the webinar beneficial and informative. Thank you for sitting through until the end of the webinar session with us. If you like what you have experienced today and want to join in from our sessions, do not forget to like and follow our social media channels. Simply search SCHRDC on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter as all of our programs are regularly updated there. 
We will include the links to these pages in the description box below. Feel free to connect with us today or visit our website at www.shrdc.org.my. Thank you and we hope to see you again!